G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel. What you are looking at here is a late 1950s Marconi Mark III image Orphicon tube black and white camera chain. This camera chain was used by AT and 7 Channel 7 Sydney from the late 1950s to the to about 1975 when they changed over to colour. As seen, this camera is in quite sorry state of shape as yeah, the paint's all chipping away and it's all scratched up, pretty beaten up. It is missing its lens turret and lenses and it is all full of dead spiders and cobwebs and dust and dirt and you name it. Possibly a few dead roaches I imagine and other things. But all the same I still see hope in restoring this camera to working order which is what I intend to do. First things first is to give this camera a jolly good clean out as mentioned it's full of dust, dirt, dead spiders etc etc and that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this afternoon. Anyways, as you can see from this side, you've got the you got the um, Channel Seven logo, ATN Seven logo on the on the plate there, painted on, which is pretty well scratched up. This here is the the um, axle for the beer handle focus focuser which uses a yeah it's a it's a um it's a beer it uses a beer handle lever to to focus to adjust the back focusing of the of the camera tube unfortunately it's missing its beer handle lever at the front here um we've got the you got the image Orphicon tube inside inside that covering there with with its camera yoke coil assembly. You've got here the the mechanics which um, which are used to rotate the the lens turret. A few other bits of gadgetry in here. Here's um, the other side plates for for the other side of the camera. ATN7 logo. Two. I guess this is would be camera number two out of the um, cameras that they used for the remote job. Um, The back here you've got the viewfinder missing its rubber covering which has got its, all of its adjustments you got the your brightness contra you got your brightness contrast focus on that side I'm not so sure what these do on this side I guess they are probably I don't know probably focus adjustments perhaps I'll have to go look at the camera manual and see what they actually are got a few more adjustments down here that's the um, lens turret rotator it's also missing its handle as well just like the, the focus beer handle I guess that's the on-air tally light. 
that I guess um, probably a, that um, rotator is probably to I guess to probably loosen up the the viewfinder and to raise the viewfinder to a certain height not 100% sure yet here is the um, internals of one side of this camera which is all valve circuitry few more adjustments here such as the focus modulator, image accelerator, decelerator and all of its other electronics are all behind all behind the chassis which are all pretty well I believe would be um, point to point wiring no printed circuit boards back in those days, or well, they did have, but they were only just coming on the scene and didn't came into popular use till the very late fifties. I'm gonna open this side flap and show the image orphicon tube assembly. See right now a few dead daddy long legs there. Yep, that's the that's the image orphicon camera tube yoke. Pretty big bastard it is. <laughs> the tube is inside. I'm not gonna attempt to disassemble it yet. Yeah, this uses a four and a half inch image orphicon tube, which is which is a lot bigger than the image orphicon tubes that I have in my collection, which are three inch and two inch. Some more uh, circuitry, which is probably which is all for the for the camera tube. Doesn't look too bad on the inside, but yeah, a lot of spiders to clean out, cobwebs, and dust. Now onto the associated camera chain equipments. <laughs> 